Hi boys and girls, this story is called How the Zebra Got Its Stripes. It says tales from around the world, which means it's stories that people tell about how they think the zebra may have gotten its stripes, not that it's really true. And it is written by Justine and Ron Fonts, illustrated by Peter Grosshauer. How the Zebra Got Its Stripes. Greetings, nature lovers. I'm Professor Linus Pinstripe in the Trail of a Mystery. How did the zebra get its stripes? I'm here at a local watering hole on the plains of Africa with some talkative creatures that say they know the answer. Please tell us what you know, giraffe. Long ago, said giraffe, there were two kinds of zebras, the all-white kind and the all-black kind. The black zebras could hide in the shadows when the lions came around, but the black zebras roasted in the hot sun. The white zebras felt cool, but they stood out like targets for the hungry lions. The zebras went to Wise Baboon for help. He gave the white zebras black paint, and he gave the black zebras white paint. Then the zebras went off to paint themselves. Now the once black zebras felt cool, but they were targets for the lions. And the once white zebras could hide in the shadows, but they roasted in the hot sun. Once again, the zebras were upset, so they went back to the wise baboon. This time he gave them black and white striped paint and zebras have been striped ever since. That is not the story my grandpa told me, squawked Ostrich. Well, go on, Ostrich, said P Professor Pinstripe. Well, back in the beginning, said Ostrich, zebras were as white as grubs, and zebras could run as swiftly as they do today. One day, Zebra saw a leopard. Zebra took off fast through the sharp, dry grass and tore its shadow. Once Zebra was safe from the leopard, it picked up its shredded shadow and said, from now on, my shadow will ride on me. That way it won't get torn again. And that is how the zebra got its stripes. And in case you're wondering how zebras still cast a shadow on the ground, the answer is quite simple. Every morning when the sun comes up, we get brand new shadows. Gazelle giggled. You believe the silliest story, she said. I know how the zebra got its stripes. Please tell us, said Professor Pinstripe. Well, said Gazelle, it happened on the day that the Creator held a party to celebrate the making of the world. Back then, zebra was as tan as the savanna grass and as lazy as a lion on a hot day. Wouldn't you know, zebra slept right through the Creator's party. And when the Creator found zebra asleep, he became very angry. From now on, said the Creator, you must wear your silly pajamas all the time. In a flash, zebra's striped pajamas turned into its skin. To this day, you can still see zebra trotting and zigzagging in his striped pajamas. Now, who's believing silly stories, asked Lion, who had slinked up to the watering hole. What really happened was this, announced Lion. In the first days of the world, the creator was busy painting the animals different colors. Back then, zebra was so ornery that the creator had to paint zebra through a cage. But just as the creator started to paint, the cantankerous zebra snorted. The snorting sound startled the creator, who tripped and spilled the bucket of white paint. Since half the paint fell on the zebra and the other half fell on the cage, zebra ended up striped. But zebra was so delighted with its new look that zebra was never ornery again.
no one argued with Lion's story because they had all sneaked away. How do you think the zebra got its stripes? Sneaky stripes. No one really knows how the zebra got its stripes or why. The stripes probably helped the zebra hide like a giraffe's spots or a soldier's camouflaged uniform. The zebra's stripes blur the shape of its body. Are you there or are you air? Zebras are easy to see up close, of course, but when a lion or a leopard sees a zebra from far away in the early morning or early evening light, the zebra's stripes look like wavy lines. These lines look like heat rising from the ground instead of a zebra. Confusing moves. The zebra's stripes also help confuse a lion when it's cho choosing a zebra for dinner. As the lion moves in for the attack, a group of zebras rush toward the lion. Suddenly, all the lion sees are stripes and not the zebra it wanted. No two alike. There may be another reason for the zebra's stripes. To allow zebras to recognize one another in large herds, each zebra's striped pattern is as one of a kind as a fingerprint. I hope you learned some more things about zebras today. No zebra's stripes are like another's.